So the first step of what comes next is salvation. See, salvation is a gift of God, not a result of works, lest any man should boast. The reality is, is that every single one of us was born in our sin and in our transgressions. See, God is perfectly holy. He's perfectly righteous, and He sets the bar for righteousness. But the problem that you have and the problem that I have, the problem that every single person since Adam and Eve has, is we fall short of that goal. God has set a line. He set His law, and we transgress that law. We go over that line. And that makes us moral debtors to God. And so the wages for that moral debt is death. For the wages of sin is death. But, and here's the wonderful but, this is why at Sharon we're all about Jesus. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. See, it's in Jesus Christ that we have salvation. This is why Jesus Christ had to come to die. Jesus Christ came and he lived a perfect life. He never transgressed God's law. He never fell short of his glory. Jesus Christ is the one who is perfectly righteous. And the scriptures tell us that what God does to make us love him is he takes out our hearts of stone and he gives us hearts of flesh. And in this transplant that he does in our hearts, it makes us desire him, to love him. He removes the scales from our eyes that we can see that we have not loved him with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, nor have we loved our neighbor as ourselves. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. See, the good news of Jesus Christ is that we get everything and it costs us nothing. It is God who has provided the way of salvation. It is through Jesus Christ that we are accepted into the Holy of Holies. It is through Jesus Christ that we have eternal life. If he has changed our hearts and given us that faith, we are those who can confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in our hearts that God has raised him from the dead and we are saved. So that's the question you have to ask yourself. Do you confess your sins? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord? Do you believe that God has raised him from the dead? This is why Jesus is the crux. Jesus is the center of the gospel. This is the good news of God toward us. And it's the very first step that we must realize and take.